everyone welcome to the gallivanting soul today i am in gandharbal gandharbal district in kashmir so this is not very popular on the tourist map and i am actually here for a wedding to attend uh, a friend's wedding so i got here two days back and in between the wedding functions i managed to squeeze in a little time to check out some of the local places around here and this is another nice place which is the mansbal lake now i have passed this place twice on the way to bandipura but never really stopped here so they also have some shikaras around here and now the tourism department is trying to promote this place as well for tourism purpose and um, as you can see at the back here there's a lovely garden which stretches right across right till the other end so yeah let's uh, go on a tour of gandharbal district and i will show you some of the places that i've managed to see I don't even know where some of them are because they were close to my friend's house and um, I don't know the exact location but they were really pretty and I really needed to show you all that how beautiful these um, you know small offbeat places are I mean we are all pop, you know uh, familiar with the gulmarg and pelgams and everything but uh, sometimes I love going to such kind of places where it's completely different it's not the regular touristy thing you get to do and This lovely lake is another such place and they've recently made a jetty here as well. So yeah, this jetty right around here. So let me take you on a tour of Gandharbal district and let's go back and rewind to day 1 where I was picked up straight from Srinagar airport and I headed to Gandharbal. So let's explore Gandharbal. Going to break some apples for me. There are still two nice ones left. Most have got spoiled because of the early rain and snowfall. So they have had to pluck out all the apples. This is an apple. कहाँ से आई मैडम? मैं मुंबई से आई हूँ. चलो अच्छी है. Got some apples. This is some local fruit here called amrut. See here. This guy so sweetly plucked. What did you get, ma'am? No, no, just got it. He just got me some fruit to try out. So I'm just trying this. It kind of dries the saliva in your mouth. It's not fully ready, and I don't know. It tastes tastes a bit like a persimmon, but um, I don't know. It's interesting. The guy so sweetly went and plucked a few for me. He gave me a bag full of apples as well. Now, whatever few nice ones he could find. I mean, he's so sweet. He's even inviting me for tea to his house, and that's what I say. I just stopped on the highway, came inside to just stop and have a look at the orchards and take some pictures. And this guy came, the owner, and he's invited me inside, plucked a few apples, gave me the fruit, and now he's taking me on a tour of his entire orchard and. Uh, his farm over here where he's growing kind of lot of vegetables and so he even invited me for tea i mean that's what you know that this is what i really love about kashmir is the hospitality i mean complete strangers invite you to home invite you for tea i don't experience that anywhere else to be very honest well i missed apple season but i still managed to get a bag full of apples from him आपने काफी सारे एप्पल दे दिया अभी शाम तक एप्पल खाऊंगी अभी <laughs> नहीं अभी काफी है बैग और मेरे पॉकेट्स भी फुल है लाइक माय बैग इज लिटरली फुल चलो अगर जिंदगी रहे तो अगले साल हाँ जी इनशाला <laughs> तो चाय भी मैं अरे नहीं नहीं अभी ये फ्रूट खाया <laughs> तो 
Okay, so I just passed the other field where I found a few apples and that was enough to make me very happy. But again, the universe has a way of making things happen for me. And as I drove past from here, look what I spotted. A tree absolutely full of apples. I mean, honestly, this is such a surprise over here because all the trees are bare. There are just two or three stray apples on each tree. And here I am with a tree full of apples. I mean, this is actually not possible to happen because all the crop has been spoiled. But look at this. I am so thrilled right now. I mean, I actually get to see now a tree full of apples. It's amazing. Well, kids love candy stores. I love fruit orchards, <laughs> apple orchards, any kind of fruits. These make me happy. Wow. And they are so cold right now. Amazing. I am thrilled to bits, honestly. I'm, I don't know. I mean, I'm just so happy. Look at this. It's so lovely. I've been very fortunate to spot this, honestly. I'm blessed. My friend just brought me on a drive to this place and he said knowing that I love nature and love good scenery look at this place down here you won't find this as a touristy place and that's what I love about such places look at that let me give you a little virtual tour of this place it looks amazing and there are a few chinar trees back there and they are just glowing right now wow that's what i love is doing in kashmir here the most is going to these completely raw places which you know you don't find tourists at all there's literally nobody here so because this happens to be the guy's um, own district he knows about this hidden gem and this particular spot that eagle's nest it's so huge since i had a little bit time to spare um 
the wedding starts only in a little while. So I came out uh, and my friend Sajad, he sent two of his friends along with me. And this road leads to his house and I don't know where I am, honestly. All I know is I'm somewhere in Gandharbal district and this place is so beautiful. I mean, this roads, they're lined completely with trees. Welcome back. Now that you've seen what has happened in the last two days, let's continue our tour of the Mansabal area. Now that I've just come from the lake which was just behind there, so I'll give you a quick tour of the lake and what's there and let's continue here where I am right now. Shikara ride because it is so peaceful here I mean Dal Lake is definitely my favorite place to be in but honestly this is another different experience it is so quiet here I cannot even tell you how peaceful and tranquil this place is and I guess Dal is very popular with all tourists and if not even the tourists, the local Kashmiris who come here, I mean, I would definitely recommend come here, help support these boat guys, the Shikara guys, and uh, enjoy a peaceful ride on, on the Mansabal Lake. I have 
have come to an ancient temple site. I don't know anything about it. The only thing I do know is that it's about, uh, it's built somewhere around 900 uh, AD. Unfortunately, the place is locked, so I cannot go inside, but I will give you a peek as best as I can through this. So, I don't know much about this temple, but uh, it seems that it was recently, uh, you know, they discovered this uh, while some work was on here. But most of the temple is submerged and the only thing left is this roof portion which can be seen. The water is so clear that I can literally see some fish which seem to look like trout, I guess. But it's really beautiful. So let's have a quick look at the temple. So this is Irfan. He's my friend, Sajjad's very good friend and he's been taking me around since yesterday and now as you can see the temple is just there at the back yep so we come walking towards the lake and you get a complete view of the lake from here and uh, yeah the views are lovely from here i mean just look at that it seems um they also in the summer months they have some sports here uh, like jet ski and stuff like that which is done only in the summer months but uh, right now because it's autumn now and it's the start of winter so I guess there's no sporting event happening to take some pictures with uh, the sheep and the shepherd was so kind to give me his little lamb to take a few pictures and now he's even inviting me to tea <laughs> <Your child. laughs> see this is how sweet they are i mean they are so hospitable complete strangers invite you to their homes for tea and, and that's what i love about this place bahut bahut shukriya shukriya <laughs> 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 <